guys, I just found so much stuff at this Goodwill. This is crazy. just got done eating lunch with my friend I was like let me stop into Goodwill really quick and like I'm always hopeful to find stuff when I go into Goodwill but I wasn't expecting to find this much stuff because I was just in this thrift store literally two days ago so I was like I hope I find some stuff but not expecting to find this much stuff I got I think 33 items and I got a good a really good 33 items so I'm really excited to get home and show you guys all of this good stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay, I want to show you guys everything that I just got at this Goodwill because I got a lot and I'm so excited to show you because I got some really good stuff. So I'm really excited. It's so nice and it's so refreshing like when I'm going in and like I'm hopeful to find some stuff but like I'm not really expecting it and like I'm not expecting to find like all the stuff that I did and so it's just really exciting to like find some good stuff I'm excited to get it pictured and get it listed I really needed this I didn't have the best thrifting week so to be able to come in and get 30 plus things in one thrift store is amazing and I'm really happy so I'm gonna show you guys all of the clothing items that I got today I'm gonna be cutting the tags off the items as I'm showing them to you so I'm just gonna cut them with my scissors over to the side but first item that we got is I don't know if this is men's or women's but this is a Patagonia like full zip jacket. I was so excited to find this. I know we're going into the summertime, um, but I just, I couldn't help myself and not pick it up. I still think it will sell great. I think this might be a better sweater. I have to look it up, but this easily um, 30, $35 for this. So I was really excited to find this. This is a new brand to me. It's called Belle France. And I don't know actually if this is a dress or a skirt. When I looked it up, I originally thought it was a skirt, but it might be a dress. But this is like a really pretty like brown floral silk skirt or dress. I don't know. The main reason I picked it up is because it was new with tags. It does say um, Steinmart. Steinmart is a brand by, or not a brand, a um, store that went out of business by me. But um, retail 118, their price was 59.99. So I'm hoping to get at least um, 35, 45 dollars for this. So I was really excited to find this, especially new attacks. This is a nice brand Duluth. I love picking up and selling Duluth men's and women's. These are just a pair of women's um, shorts, like hiking shorts. This would do really well going into the summertime. I should probably get about 25, 30 dollars for these. So I was really excited. I love finding like the men's Duluth pants or the women's Duluth pants. Sometimes even the women's, they make Duluth leggings sell really well. So these will do great going into summer. Then I picked up a couple pair of women's true religion jeans. I love selling men's true religion jeans. They always sell really well for me between $40 and $50. But I do also like picking up the women's. And it should always usually says like the style name on the back pocket. So these are the women's Joey Super T jeans. So I was excited to find these. Really been loving picking up women's American Eagle flare jeans, wide leg jeans, boot cut jeans are doing really well for me on eBay and on Poshmark. They sell um, for $20, $25, $30, sometimes even more if it's like, like a newer style. These are the women's... Um, Original boot cut blue jeans, size eight. 
So I should get about $25 for these. Then I picked up, I was excited to find this, a Polo Ralph Lauren 100% cashmere size extra large, like a men's half zip sweater. This again, I know we're going into summertime, but it's 100% cashmere, which has been doing really well for me, even though we are moving into the summer and out of the winter, but I am still selling a lot of cashmere like vests, jackets, polos, all of that. So um, I should probably get maybe 35, maybe $40 for that. So I was really excited to find and pick this up. One thing with cashmere that you do have to be careful of and look when you find it in the thrift store is check and double check to make sure that there's no like holes or anything because cashmere tends to have holes. I found a lot of things um, that do have holes in it you have to really look so i double check this all over just to make sure there was no holes or anything because if there's a hole then um kind of defeats the purpose of picking up the cashmere so this was good to go so i'm excited to get this listed and i picked up another great brand that i love selling um all year round but especially in the summertime it's called sportif only their shorts they're they make men's shorts and pants it's like a boating hiking brand sailing brand i think um the pants don't do well but these shorts usually do really well for me i can get between 20 and 25 dollars for these um so that is a great pickup i sell them pretty frequently actually so i always will pick up the brand sportive okay then we have athleta um, i love picking up athleta especially in the newer like pants or if they do have like their newer looking leggings these are like honestly they look like lululemon align leggings i think it's Completely. If they didn't have the the Athleta logo, I would have thought they were Lululemon. Um, but these are called the Athleta Ultra High Rise Elation Tight, size medium. They're really nice quality. They feel really nice. I just can tell that they're newer, so I was definitely going to pick these up. Um, I should probably get maybe $30, $35 for these. So I was really excited. I might even try them on for myself. We will see. <laughs> Some more Athleta. Again, I could just tell these were like newer. It's a really nice, like soft align material um, and it's a good size it's a size medium so I should probably get um, between 25 and 30 dollars for these it has like some mesh detail on the bottom so I was excited to buy these are super soft then we have um, Zaya I think is how you pronounce it Zaya active this brand does really well for me they make um, women's like leggings and things I find a lot of these and they usually sell really well for me an active brand size six to eight so i was really excited to find these uh, if you find zaia leggings and you can get them for a good price i would definitely pick them up okay then we have i found a couple pair of these abercrombie and fitch i love picking up abercrombie and fitch women's and men's jeans but the women's jeans if it's a newer style sell really really well i would definitely pick them up if you find them these are the abercrombie and fitch the 90 straight ultra high rise curve love pair of jeans these will do really well if you find these in a thrift store and you can get them for a good price i would definitely pick them up uh, i could probably get maybe 30 35 dollars for these maybe even a little bit more i have sold multiple of these in the past as well in different styles and they have like a raw hem edge so more stuff i'm trying to do this like relatively quickly because it is a lot of things i think it was like 30 or 33 items that i found Okay, next we have another pair of Abercrombie and Fitch. This is the same style and everything, same size, but this is a black pair. So I found these. I was like definitely picking these up. Great pickup. And everything at my thrift store that I got today, um, the tag is $5.99, but we get a, it's called a good friend discount. I think we get 25% off every item. So I am paying $4.49 per item at my thrift store. A pair of women's true religion jeans again i was really excited to find these joey super t if you can find them with like embellishment on the back or um like any embellishment that will increase your price um these are just a plain women's size 29 i think they're boot cut um again i should probably get about 35 maybe 40 dollars for these jeans some true religion jeans sell for like up to 80 90 dollars if you can find like a good style in the men's jeans they sell really well so always look out for that brand I just have another pair again these are called the rainbow joey joey <laughs> that's my boyfriend's name um rainbow pair again like boot cut style 
so I found a couple pair of these. They also had a couple pair of Miss Me jeans in the store, um, but they were, you could tell they were really old and like they were kind of worn out and they didn't have like the embellishments on it. So Miss Me jeans is a really great brand if it's newer and it has like the really bling embellishments on it. Um, but Miss Me is just also like really oversaturated on eBay. So I didn't pick any of those up but if they were like newer. Um, then I definitely probably would have picked them up. I think I actually picked up one pair, so I'll show you guys. In. This is a really great brand. I love finding and selling this brand. It's called Cool. It's a really great men's and women's outdoor hiking brand. They make pants, shorts, really anything. I don't know if these are men's or women's, um, but they're like a pair of convertible hiking pants. I love this brand, it sells really, really quickly. It's K-U-H-L. So if you find this brand, definitely pick it up. I don't know how much I can get for these. Maybe, I don't know, 35 to $45. Then I picked up, these are the Levi's Wedgie Straight Jeans. I like picking up Levi's, the Wedgie Straight. Um, their boot cut jeans sell really well. These are a pair of women's, like light wash jeans. These do really well for me. Um, called the wedgie straight size 28 you'll probably get maybe um 30 35 dollars for these More bags. next we have a pair of chico's travelers i love selling chico's travelers always pick them up if you get them for a good price chico's travelers only a very very fast seller i love selling these um, they don't sell for a ton they sell between 20 and 25 dollars for me but they are very very fast seller again only chico's travelers in the pants if you find them i'll pick them up okay these are the miss me jeans i was talking about so these are called the miss me mid-rise boots so boot cut is in style right now they have the embellishments on the back they were really nice i could just tell they're a little bit newer so if you find newer miss me jeans with the embellishments and it's something that's in style and you get it for a good price i would definitely pick it up i paid four dollars and 49 cents for these um, i should probably be able to sell them for maybe 40 45 dollars then i picked up another brand i really really love selling it's called j jill I love selling this brand. If you can find J. Jill Plus sizes, it's a major bolo. These are the J. Jill Ponte Slim Leg. They're like a pair of just casual pull-on pants, size medium. I should probably get between um, $30 and $35 for these. Then we have another pair. I get so excited when I find when I find these J. Jill because they just sell really well. They're just a very like soft, casual pant, and they sell relatively quickly for me especially again if you can get it in the bigger sizes sometimes when i take these tags off it doesn't completely come off and then we have this was a newer brand to me it's called ridge cut tough wear um it looks pretty decent in the men's but these are actually a pair of women's kind of like legging almost like legging pull-on pants but i guess it's like a a workwear brand uh, but these were selling between i think 25 and 30 dollars so i was like let me take a chance on it i'm always willing to take a chance on a new brand that has a decent sell-through rate so again um probably get between 25 and 35 dollars okay what is this this is my favorite brand it's lululemon i just love this brand so nice i get so excited when, when i find it these are actually reversible because it has the logo on both sides and it has the tag the rip tag in it so these are a pair of size two i'm gonna say these are wonder unders just from the material and everything but these are really nice um i wish they were my size but that's way off um so i should probably get um between 35 and 45 dollars for these this is a really great brand you can find it in their newer styles leggings shorts do really well um if you can get lululemon for a good price i would definitely pick it up then we have the brand Seven for All Mankind. Um, I love picking up Seven for All Mankind in the men's jeans and pants. They have like their slimmy, they're called the Slimmy Pants or Jimmy. I think it's Slimmy. <laughs> slimmy Pants um, or like boot cut pants. They have performance pants. They sell really well. These are a pair of women's though. They're called the Women's Kimmy Boot Cut. And I mainly pick these up because they're a boot cut. Um, I saw a couple women's 
Seven for All Mankind and they were like the skinny jeans, those don't sell well, or the Roxanne skinny, they don't sell really well, but the boot cut does decently well. I should probably get about $25, $30 for these. Then we picked up Can Can and I don't usually pick up Can Can because it's gone into retail. You can sometimes find it at like TJ Maxx and stuff, but some pairs of Can Can, if it's plus size or if it's something that's in style, I usually can, um, factor stack and pull it through so i picked these up because it's a bigger size they're button fly they're really nice it's a raw hem um jean and a, again a bigger size so i should probably maybe between 20 25 dollars maybe even 30. so if you can find something again that's like really nice or in style then i would pick it up other than that um it's, it's an okay brand then we found i was really excited to find this because I've been like experimenting with plus size brands um, and this is an old navy like chambray denim dress but it's a size 2x um, so it's really nice it's really pretty I thought this would do really great you can't really see fully like for the summertime um, again so old navy plus sizes in their like maxi and midi length dresses tend to do relatively well for me. You're not gonna get a ton of money for them, maybe $25, $30. But again, I love selling like those bread and butter items, especially because I can get them at a decent price. So I was really excited to find this. So I'm gonna say between $25 and $30 for this. It's really nice. And it has pockets. We have a couple dresses that I was really excited to pick up because I don't find dresses a lot and going into the summertime, dresses are going to do really well. So this is the brand called Rails. I really love this brand, it's a great brand. And this is a dress, a women's really pretty like ruffled tier maxi dress. And again, Rails is a really great brand. I've only found it in like their women's tops and they sell between like $30, $35. So I don't know how much I can get for this dress. It's a size small. I'm gonna say maybe between $30 and $40. So I was really excited to find this. And then I found another really great brand. I think I found two of these dresses. It's called Sundance, which in my area, I rarely ever find Sundance, but it's a really, really great brand, women's brand, if you find it. I've never found it in a dress, so this is a really pretty, like, floral, polyester women's dress, size four. So, I, again, I don't really know how much I can get for this. I'm going to say between... 35 and 40 dollars i was really excited because i know that sundance is a really great brand and i picked it up in some tops and blouses before and it sells really well for me so great brand two more bags okay this is the brand called fabletics i don't pick up fabletics really in anything that's women's but fabletics in the men's brands does decently well so these are a pair of fabletics and men's just like performance chino pants. I like selling their men's like athletic wear shorts do really well between $25 and $30. So if you can find Fabletics in the men's and it's like a something that's their shorts or their pants and you could just tell it's nice. Or their plus sizes, I've sold Fabletics men's plus size shorts and pants for like $30, $35. This is a size 32 by 30. Just a pair of like, again, athletic pants. Um, so I'm hoping to get maybe $30, $35 for these. Then we found Lululemon again, but these are men's. I love finding men's too because the men's do really well in their shorts and pants as well. Um, so these are a pair of men's Lululemon pants. I could tell because they have the little logo right here. They have the rip tag, size 32. I was really excited to find these. So I'm hoping maybe this will be between $40 and $50 for these pants. I love this brand. Then we have Lucky Brand. I love picking up Lucky Brand men's jeans. Always do really well for me. I used to get between like $30 and $35 for these jeans, but now I can get between $25 and $30, but I still pick them up because I can get them for a lower price and they sell pretty well for me. They have all different styles in these. These are the 221 straight. So I should get between $25 and $30. Then we have Polo Ralph Lauren. I like picking up Polo Ralph Lauren men's jeans. They have a couple different styles in these as well and these do decently well. Again, I used to get between $35 and $40 for these. Now I can get um, pushing $30, but I do still like picking them up 
because they do sell pretty well for me. You could um, find the style name either on the inside pocket or sometimes it has it like on the inside zipper and you can find these are the Sullivan Slim Straight. So I'm hoping to get about $30 for these. Last bag. This is a Rebecca Taylor dress. And I actually picked up this dress at a different thrift store, the same exact dress in a different size um, last week when I was thrifting, but it's really pretty. It's like a textured, open, like cutout back. Um, and I should probably get between $35 and $40 for this. It's a size two. It's a newer brand to me. Um, the comps were decently well for the dresses. So I'm hoping to sell these relatively quickly going into the summer for dresses. Oh, then we have another Sundance dress. So I found three Sundance dresses. I'm so excited to get these listed. This one I know will do great for summer. I'm pretty sure it's lin linen. It's a women's like strappy tiered maxi dress. Really excited. Again, I've never found Sundance in the dresses and I don't find it a lot. So I don't know how much I can get for this. I'm going to say between $35 and $45, if not more. It's really nice. So I'm excited. I'm, I was most excited to find this brand in the thrift store today and I found like multiple of it. So that was really exciting. Okay. And then our last item is J. Jill again. These are called the J. Jill Linen Stretch. Um, J. Jill, if you find their linen brand, Love Linen or Linen, um, sells really well as well. I love finding these. They're just like a pair of casual pants. And linen is really great going into the summer. People are looking for linen. They're looking for summer dresses. I should probably get between um, $30 and $35 for these. Okay, and that is all that I got. I feel like I found some really great brands. I was really excited to find them. And again, I'm really excited to get them listed and get them sold. So I will keep you guys updated um, on the things that sell for me. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video. I really appreciate your support. If you would like to see more videos like this, you can go ahead and give me a like and a subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video.